I'm about to reteach one of my popular courses called Making Simple, Authentic Videos to Share Your Message and Grow Your Audience. And I want to tell you about it. So why is this course important? Well, you have probably seen my other videos if you're watching this one. And I believe and I've experienced in you know over a decade that making videos, speaking on camera, especially live videos like the ones I do, is the most authentic way to share your message with the world and to build a true fan audience, kindred spirits who resonate with your energy signature and just with you, your presence, and therefore are much more likely to be ideal clients for you because they connect with your authentic presence and you don't have to pretend or to posture or to be anything other than yourself on video. Now, it's of course not natural for most of us to be comfortable and confident on camera, which is why I'm teaching this course. In this course, I'm going to go through how I prepare to be on camera, uh, you're going to come up actually with your own method through my guidance and the guidance of your fellow uh, peers in the, in the course to come up with your own preparation method that works well for you because you'll get to practice in the course as well. You'll get at least five opportunities to practice uh, making video. And we're also going to have a private student group where you can post experimental videos in there things to try out and um, you'll get uh, you can have the mutual feedback with other students in that private group so um, who is this course for i'm going to talk to three types of people right now um, type one is somebody who knows the power of speaking in person some of you have had the um, wonderful experience of being in person in an audience where you get to share your presence and your message and you know how powerful that is and how um, impactful it is to nurture uh, relationships with a, with, a, with a group of people right in front of you. Of course, the pandemic has uh, made that much less possible for, for a lot of us. And so video is the second best thing to be able to share your presence with an audience. And in fact, your audience is much, much bigger online than it could ever be in person. So your um, availability of reaching uh, thousands or tens of thousands of people with any video is, uh, any message is much more possible online than it is in person. So that's the first type of person. You, you know that speaking uh, with people is a very impactful way of sharing your message and gathering potential clients and video is really the next best thing and probably allows you to reach many more potential clients. So, so the second type of person, uh, and many of you are in this camp where you have already been creating content in terms of writings, maybe images with some writing, and you'd like to take it to the next level, which is to turn your written content into video message, knowing that with video, you can much better connect or have people connect with your energy signature than you can with just writing. Writing, of course, is wonderful, but video takes it to the next level of nurturing a warm audience and um, sharing a message in a way that's that's really memorable for a long time. So. So, uh, so that's the second type of person. You have some content you'd like to take to the next level and make videos consistently and comfortably, confidently, and know how to spread those videos as well. All right. And the third type of person, which is also many of you watching this, you dream of being able to show up and create content, whether it's written content or video content. Maybe you're still trying to figure out what you're trying to do. Uh, you would love to, to have a business um, where you know people are paying you to share your life's experience and um, skills, but you're not quite sure what your message is going to be. Well, this might surprise you to, to, to hear me say this, maybe not because you've watched my videos. Showing up consistently on camera 
and learning how to express yourself is actually one of the most powerful ways to discover your calling. Why is that? Because your calling is the intersection between your genuine, authentic expression on the one hand, and what the audience finds really impactful and meaningful. That intersection between your genuine expression of your passion and message and whatever comes through in the moment, in fact, and what the audience finds the most impactful, that intersection is your calling because you are sharing your truth and your peak experiences uh, or what you find is really important anyway. And you find that the intersection with, oh, what other people find is important and meaningful to them. Well, that's your calling. And through showing up on video, especially live video, which is why I talk, I'm going to talk quite a bit about live video in the course. Through live video, you experiment and discover more of your authentic voice. Now, it's one thing to script everything out and to basically be talking a script right? And then to edit things so that it looks really perfect and everything. That's not what this course is about. Now, I will, in this course, show you just a little bit of editing that I do. It's more like trimming the beginning, maybe the end if needed, um, maybe putting like a lower third. This video, this live video that I'm showing you won't have a lower third, but you'll see some of my uh, vertical videos. If you follow my YouTube channel or Instagram, you'll see some of my vertical videos have a lower third, meaning some words at the bottom. But that's, that's really, really basic to do. And I'll show you how to do that, how I do it uh, efficiently. But the power of learning how to do live videos is going to change your life. I really believe that because it's changed mine. Um, being able to just go live and share. I don't have a script right now. I did come up with a couple of ideas I wanted to share with you. Um, and I have those ideas in mind. You know, one, two, three, the three types of people I want to talk to, right? But just being able to riff on live broadcasted video is a very powerful experience. There's nothing like it for building your self-confidence, for building your channeling of your authentic self to the world. And when you practice and show up like this, that kind of confidence and authentic composure spills into the rest of your business and that your client relationships and your audience engagement. So this is why I'm really looking forward to, um, to seeing many more of you try out and experiment and build your comfort level with being on live video and to do it, of course, to, to build your confidence and comfort level, you have to do it consistently. And that's part of what we're going to talk about in this course. And you're going to come up with a process um, through my guidance and through the interactions you have with your peers in the course. You'll come up with your process that's tailored to you for doing this consistently and doing it authentically and powerfully. So if that sounds like a worthwhile experience, I hope you'll check out the course um, let me just go ahead and show you some of the things that I'm going to cover in the course here. Uh, I'm going to show you on my screen. So authentic video creation, make simple videos to share your message. There's a picture of a phone here, and you don't necessarily have to make it through your phone. You can, that's the simplest way of doing it. But I do it, I do most of my videos through Zoom, which I'll also show you how to do. Um, let me just do a quick uh, scroll over to, and by the way, what's my experience? I've made over well over a thousand. I actually made a thousand videos by 2018. So since 2018, I stopped counting. So it's well over a thousand at this point. And so I just want to show you. Um, so yeah, the kind of videos we're making in this course, few takes or only one if done on a live video. For example, this video you're watching is only one take. I didn't do any other takes. It's also very time efficient that way if you learn how to do this and do it powerfully. Minimal to no editing. This video will have no editing. Um, maybe if maybe I might cut out like one or two seconds in the beginning before I started speaking, but that's pretty much it. Speaking from the heart as I'm doing now and longer than a minute and often shorter than 10. This video, a lot of my 
Facebook live videos are actually longer than 10 minutes, but the, the, the type of video I'm, I'm going to encourage you to practice making in our course is between one to 10 minutes so that you can begin building an audience with videos that are a bit shorter. Once you have more of an audience like I do, you, you have the luxury of going longer than 10 minutes and still having people willing to watch. But I would say those that most of you are just beginning to build your audience or would like to build uh, much bigger than your current audience. And I would therefore recommend between one and 10 minutes. Now, you might say, George, it's well known, maybe, maybe you've heard this, that videos up to one minute uh, have much better chance of building a, a large audience. And I agree with you. However, the audience that's built with TikTok, uh, you know, videos that are shorter than one minute or Instagram reels or Facebook stories, those audiences tend to be very diluted and not um, farther and farther away from your true fan audience. That's much more likely to become your clients. And with a large audience that's diluted, the algorithm will not be kind to you when you make videos that are longer than one minute because the audience won't be kind to you. Not that they won't, they'll be mean to you, but they won't, they're not um, as well uh, built for your offerings, the things that you actually want to sell and the deeper messages that you want to say for longer than a minute. So I am not going to teach you how to dance on Instagram reels or to make clever, entertaining one minute TikTok videos. That's not what this course is about. You can, of course, uh, go to my course sales page and, and click on this video. This is a video showing you why I don't do um, Instagram. I've, of course, I have. And I, I have before. I've experimented with, uh, I think I've done uh, several dozen one-minute videos um, in the past years ago to try them out and to see what kind of audience it builds. And it's not the audience that I want to build. And I've seen other people confirm the fact that they have built a very diluted audience that's harder to reach with their meaningful messages and their offerings going forward. So it's not a, it's not my recommended strategy for most of you to make short videos. Um, there are exceptions, which you know we can talk about in, in some Q&A call, but anyway, I'm going to keep going on here. So um, in this course, we're going to talk about speaking naturally on video like I do, how to remember what to say without using a script or teleprompter. For example, I don't have any notes right now. I literally began this Facebook Live video with three thoughts in mind. I'm going to talk to these three types of people. And then I showed up authentically, as you're seeing here, confidently talking to those three types of people or having those three bullet points in mind. And then, of course, if I have something longer than I want to say, um, I might just riff off of it, which I'm going to teach you how to do. Or, of course, I'm sharing a particular outline with you. And that's nice because I literally have notes right in front of us, both of us here, to talk about. Um, as I said, you know, making videos, a lot of people, you know, when you, when you write, you might be able to open your heart and show your personality. But there's nothing, there, there's nothing more um, available to, to your open heart than when you're doing a Facebook Live video. And there's not also no more uh, powerful way to show your unique personality uh, other than through video. We're going to find, yes, with my guidance, you're going to find your optimal regular time and place for consistently making your videos. Because if you don't, if you don't find that optimal time and place, it's going to be hard for you to, to stay consistent doing it. So like I mentioned, there's going to be a private Facebook group for mutual support among fellow students. Now, just to be clear, I'm not going to be giving you feedback on your videos. Let me say that again. I am not giving you feedback on videos. I can't. I mean, all the students imagine me trying to give feedback on everybody. There might be several dozen or maybe a few low, low hundreds of students who take this course, and I'm not going to give feedback to everybody. However, here's what I promise, though. If you finish taking the course and then you come to one of my uh, bonus Q&A calls and say, hey, George, I finished taking the course, I've implemented the course, and I would like your feedback on this video, I will give you feedback. So that's my, that's my promise to you. So finish taking the course, implement, you know, basic, I don't, you know, I don't require you to implement every single thing I say, but at least finish watching the course and just doing what you can to implement it. Make your videos and then come to my bonus Q&A and, and ask for my feedback on, on your, um, your latest video, which you will have made at least five if you have finished taking the course and then I'd be happy to give you uh, the, the feedback. Okay, so 
uh, I have some supplemental video segments that I've already recorded with over a hundred common questions about making videos. And I just wanna show you some of the questions that came up. How do you come up with video ideas? difference between what to put into free videos versus paid courses, because there it's important to separate the difference in your content. Uh, I see too many of you making videos or just creating content that really should probably be, will be better done in paid courses. So we'll talk about the difference between that, how to prepare for videos, how to show up naturally and confidently, length of videos, how deep to go, so, and then some of the um, technical things like which camera to use, lighting, microphone. I, I go uh, relatively low cost. So I'm gonna share with you my, my low cost options, the ones that I'm doing, that I use right now as I make video. How to befriend the camera lens. You'll notice that I, I do a good job of looking at you in the eyes. And that's not natural. Why is that? You might say, well, when you're talking to me in person, it's natural to look someone in the eyes. Well, let me show you what it looks like when I look at my, because right now I don't see any of you on, on video right now, right? The only person on screen is me. So if I look myself in the eye, here's what happens. Okay, so now I'm looking at myself in the eyes. It feels natural to look at my, myself in the eyes, but, but now it doesn't look, it doesn't feel to you like I'm looking at you in the eyes as I am now, but I'm actually looking at the camera lens. So there is a practice of befriending the camera lens, which we will talk about in our course as well. Let me go back to the screen share. Um, whether to record on phone or laptop, live videos are pre-recorded. I'm gonna advocate mostly for live videos, of course, but I'll also talk about the times where pre-recording uh, makes sense. Um, simple video editing, video thumbnails, we'll talk about that, how to upload them to the various platforms, how to set up a YouTube channel on, and optimize it, and how to get more people to watch and engage with your videos. Now, this is a relatively minor point that I'll talk about in the course. So if you are um, already really good at making videos on a consistent basis, and you're just wanting my feedback on how to make your videos go far, I would, I would say, don't take this course, take my Facebook ads course instead. And I have an upcoming course on LinkedIn ads that is also a way. But so essentially, I'll just give you a quick quick summary, the way to spread your videos is through ads. Now you might say, well, George, what about YouTube ads? No, I've played around with YouTube ads. And to be honest, I don't recommend them because to it's, it's a mass audience type of ad service. It's not, it's, it's really hard to discover exactly who you're reaching through YouTube and Google ads. It's much easier to do it through Facebook ads, Instagram ads, and LinkedIn ads, because you can literally see the profiles of the people who liked your ads. It's not true with Facebook, you, you know, or sorry, with, with YouTube. A bunch of people can like your ads. You have no idea who they are. Uh, obviously, you would target YouTube ads through particular channels or particular keywords, but still, it's really hard to find out if you're reaching the correct audience. It takes a lot more um, money and experimentation. So before you do YouTube ads, you might as well learn to do Facebook, Instagram ads because it's much more targeted audience as well as LinkedIn ads. So anyway, that's for short, but I will still, I'm not gonna be talking about Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn ads in this course, not the details of it, but I will talk about how to do it organically. So I'll talk a bit about YouTube SEO and I'll talk about how you should spread your videos to your existing warm audience. So we'll, we'll, we'll have a plan for a very basic organic reach plan by the end of the course that you can use. Um, but like I said, if, if reach is your main issue, I would just say, go and take my Facebook ads course and implement that in my upcoming LinkedIn ads course. Um, so some of the questions that I've received from students that I covered in the course, that I uh, covered in my supplemental segments, but we can also talk in, uh, in this upcoming course. How do I get over the fear of making videos, having, having my face shown in public? Um, how to convert info that was written into a blog post or a format? What's the right, right kind of chunking down for videos? Um, how do we start the video, end the video? Um, dealing with nervousness, remembering what to say, and uh, well, I even, you know, I, I already have a video for free out there on my YouTube channel about making talking, walking videos. That's not the typical kind of videos we make uh, in, in our course, but I will talk about that and answer questions there for students who are more interested in that. Video background, we'll talk about that, how deep to go. Um, let's see here, showing up 
well on camera and uh, how to do captions. I will show you how, to, how I do that very simply as well. And lots of other questions will be covered in the course. So if this sounds interesting to you, if you would like to have a peer group, uh, private group to kind of experiment with videos and have mutual feedback, that alone, I think it's worth the cost of this course. But if you wanna learn um, kind of in a step-by-step -step way with guided exercises uh, to get you confident and consistent in making videos, well, this is, this is my course for you on that. So I hope you'll check it out. And if you have any questions about the course, go ahead and comment below as well. So thanks so much for considering it. And maybe I will see you in the course. I wish you well.